I was working with an instructor today on building a Moodle quiz. And the instructor noticed that we can shuffle questions. We can set Moodle to present the questions to the students in random order. So everybody gets, hopefully, a different order of questions. Instructor thought that was great, but the instructor asked, wait a minute, what if I have an essay question that I always want to have as the last question? How do I keep that one from getting shuffled in the mix? Hmm. Can we shuffle only some of our Moodle quiz questions? The answer is yes, and it's relatively easy. So that's what we'll do in this video. I'll show you how to shuffle questions and how to separate them into sections so that some do shuffle and some don't. Here we go. Let's take a look at a quiz. I've got a sample quiz here, and I've clicked on the Edit Quiz button. That option brings up this window that shows me all of my quiz questions. I've got eight questions here, six multiple choice, and two essay. Now, if you've worked in Moodle quizzes before, you know that usually at the top you should see this shuffle option. If you check that, there we go, if you check that, you will see, if you check that, the students will then get the quiz questions in different random orders. Cool. But now the question here is, all right, yeah, I've got my multiple choice questions, but I don't want my essay questions getting mixed up there. I don't want to have like question one and two be multiple choice, then three be an essay, and then four be a multiple choice, and then five be another essay, and then six, seven, and eight be multiple choice again, or some mix like that. I want my essay questions down at the bottom. Okay, so how do we protect, how do we insulate those essay questions from the shuffle? couple of steps. First, we have to create a page break. You go over to the left side of your quiz editing. You see these uh, page break handles between the questions. I'm going to go between six and seven, and I'll click this item to add a page break. There it goes. I've got a page two. Cool. Now you'll notice that when I create page two, a page break, I get an add button with that. Now, interestingly, usually the Add button, like the first one up at the top, right below Shuffle, it has only three options. You can add a new question, pull something from a question bank, or pull a random question. But when I create a page break, Moodle gives me four options. Mmm, question bank, random, or new section heading. New section heading. That's the one we want. Click on that. New section heading. And look at that, we get a spot to put a label there that'll separate this area. So I'll label that, very, click the pencil, and label that very sensibly. Essays, my favorite part. Hit enter, so that sticks. And then up the top, ah, that's got a pencil just waiting for a label too. So I'll call that multiple choice. So I know what's going on there. Hit enter to make it stick. And now I've got two separate sections. And each section has its own shuffle button. There's shuffle for multiple choice, and here is the shuffle for the essay. Wow, pretty cool. So if I wanted, I could click shuffle here and have the essay questions appear in different order, either Pluto first or Asimov first, but no matter what, they will not shuffle with this section up here. This shuffling now happens just within this section. So now that I've created a page break, and a new section, this part down here, my essays will always appear at the bottom of the quiz. And that's how students will see it too. Let's take a look at how that'll look for students. Uh, once you've done that, oh, I better hit save. When you make these changes, hit save. All right, that'll stick now. I've got my two sections. And we can go to preview the quiz. Uh, in our right sidebar is where we have that in the administration block. Down here it says preview. Let's take a look. All right, this is what the students will see. And now notice, sure, there are all six questions in some random order. And up in the navigation pane, that's where our section headings show. Students will look at that, they can see right away, oh, I've got this many multiple choice. Oh, and there's another section with essay questions. And then they can click on the essay questions and see those separately. There they are both together in the essay portion of the quiz. So that's how you shuffle some of your questions, but not all of them. You create a page break, you add a section heading, and you make sure shuffle is set at the top, not at the bottom. 
Shuffle some, but not all. Just one more trick for making better quizzes for your students.